Imagine a star shining brightly in the cosmos, but its life is slowly nearing its end. Its core is busy, hydrogen transforming into helium, a dance we call nuclear fusion. But as the hydrogen fades, the star swells, signaling its final act. So as the star exhausts its hydrogen, it sets the stage for its ultimate demise. It transforms into a red giant. During this phase, the star cools down, yet paradoxically, it grows in size. The core shrinks under the relentless pull of gravity, heating up and sparking a new reaction. Helium fuses into carbon and oxygen, releasing energy that pushes the star's outer layers to expand. It's a cosmic dance of change and growth, of energy and matter. The red giant phase illustrates the star's struggle for survival, but this is only a temporary reprieve. The star's struggle ends in a dramatic climax. This collapse triggers a monumental explosion, one that is so powerful it flings the outer layers of the star into the vast expanse of space. This cataclysmic event, the supernova explosion, marks the end of the star's life. But remember, the supernova explosion signifies the death of the star, but it's not the final chapter. You see, after the grand supernova explosion, what remains of the star can morph into a dense neutron star or white draw for a black hole. This depends largely on the original mass of the star. But that's not all. The elements dispersed from the explosion don't just vanish. They contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. So in its death, a star gives life to new celestial bodies, continuing the cosmic cycle. The death of a star, though it seems tragic, is a natural and essential cosmic event. From the fuel depletion, through the red giant phase, the supernova explosion, and finally the aftermath, each stage contributes to the grand cosmic cycle. Every star's demise is a spectacle of cosmic transformation, a testament to the ever-evolving universe.